all right guys i know it's been a while me uploading a video to the channel but as the saying goes life happens but um today i'm i'm gonna be editing this photo here of this young lady that she's a uh, boudoir shoot that i did um some time ago uh i was thinking of this one as well to edit but i i ended up decided on this one uh this was another uh from the same day that we shot this um this was another one as well and as well as these over here but like i said i'm going to be going into editing this one here um so far i started with some simple uh uh highlights to the eyes if i press o on the keyboard you'll see where i did uh, the slight brightening to the eyes on the arm right here another section of the arm as well i was toning down it was a little bit bright uh from the window light that was coming in as well as her um, left side here um nothing too crazy uh when it comes on to here i left the exposure exactly as it is um, I increased the shadows, I bring up the whites. <clears throat> and when I come down here to the tone curve, I increase the, the darks a little bit and a little bit of the shadow and also some of the increase the lights. And I toned down the orange because I'd use a gel um, in the background just to kind of like um, let it not be so dark. As you can see in this photo over here, the background is just kind of like, you know, gray. So I wanted her to pop a little bit more um, from the background. We just had in a little bit of um, gel light in the background. Um, as you can see, I never really did any kind of sharpening or anything like that. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, you can see the actual lens that I use here. I use the Canon 50mm 1.4 and I use it on the Sony camera with the, uh, with the adapter, the MC11, I think. All right, so that's pretty much all that I did. So I'm gonna go jump straight into Photoshop and get uh, this party started. All right, guys, here we are in Photoshop and um, uh, what I really want to do firstly is to you know remove a lot of the uh, imperfections um, on her skin like these bumps here I mean her skin is really nice um, she has these really nice freckles um, I definitely will be keeping those um, I definitely want to remove the shadows under her eyes these dark uh, spots um, her smile lines here can be toned down just a little bit um especially this line right here as well um if i should come down a little bit the chest area seem to be fine i might expand this brightness area right here on her breast uh, just to make it you know pop a little bit more i'm probably going to remove these lines right here um beyond that i don't think i'm going to do anything with the hair because i'm just doing this for the, the the for youtube so i'm not going to go too crazy her lips seem to be pretty uh pretty good i'm definitely want to whiten the eyes a little bit um I, i'll use an action for that um so with this photo i'm mainly going to be using frequency separation and also dodging and burning um i want to keep it as natural in terms of you know not adding any plugins or whatever if i can avoid it i will i use some plugins but i try to you know do most of the work just by you know using the adjustment layers and stuff all right guys so that's enough rambling i'm going to get into it and get things started all right guys let's go Okay, so like I said, I'm going to be using, I'm going to be doing frequency separation um, on this photo. It's nominated one of the best techniques to use in order to get things looking nice, clean, and as natural as possible. 
you know because the the sad thing you don't want to do is to edit a photo so oh somebody just said to you you know it looks nicely edited <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i'm going to duplicate the, the layer twice all right um so i'm going to do uh take the eyeball off the first layer i'm going to run a gaussian blur on this um layer all right when i do a blur i increase the radius to a point where i stop seeing uh details in the skin as much as i possibly can i think this is a good spot right here so i'd say okay now I'll put by the eye on the first layer i'll go to image then i go to apply image and these are the settings right here the only thing i'm going to change is i am going to go to layer one which is right here and i'm going to invert this so you'll it'll look kind of crazy like that but stick with me once i click on that then i'm going to go to my adjustments and i'll go to linear lights and as soon as you see i go to linear light it comes back to how we had it in the beginning I'm going to select both of these layers. I'm going to press Command uh, G to put it into a group. Um, and I'm just going to call it FS for frequency separation, just for short. Um, what I normally do too is I will add a layer in between the. So the diff the, the thing with frequency separation when you take off the top layer which is your detail layer you're going to just have like your colors in this layer right here which is layer one and the layer one copy on the top is your detail if you remove this you will see all the detail in in the in the skin it looks crazy i know um but it, once I start doing any form of edit where I'm removing bumps or, you know, fixing any kind of shadows or whatever, it will look very seamless um, in the photo. A perfect example. So now if I go to this layer here, this is where I'm going to use to kind of clean up a lot of the dark shadows under the eyes and kind of fix any kind of skin um, discoloration that I might see and not want in a photo. So if I go to my brush over here, uh, you will see the opacity is 100, the flow is 100. I'm going to take the flow right down to 1%. Um, percent. All right, everything else is pretty much going to stay the same. Uh, I'm actually um, using a Wacom. Um, you know, it's a lot easier to use a Wacom. You can check many videos online just to kind of get information on a Wacom, but it's, it's a lot more uh fluid when you're especially when you're just you know brushing on on the skin um if i should go to my brush settings over here it's very simple i just have smoothing and the size right now is very small um and that's pretty much it you know uh, i will increase my brush size um as you can see it, it changes over here so let me take it away so it doesn't you know distract uh, let me zoom in just a little bit here and all i'm going to be doing right now is i'm going to hold on the option just to sample a color that i want to cover this dark spot over here so i will sample right here and you see the color over here changes so the reason why i choose a one percent flow because if i go to 100 let me just show you and i paint you'll see it looks pretty bad. Let me undo that. All right, so let's put it back to 1%. And then now I can slowly paint in the color that I want to see in that area. And I'm sure you've probably seen it change already um, on this picture. Um, I don't wanna do too much or go too crazy. And when you're sampling, guys, try to sample close the areas um, where you're going to be adjusting the colors uh, in the picture so that it, it looks as natural as, as possible. And um, everything, you know, that you do when you're editing a photo is subject to taste. You know, I can be doing something that you probably don't like, 
but all I'm doing is just use my example as a guideline to to what you would like to do in your photos and if I should take the eye off the layer you will see that drastic change at the start the picture starting to look a lot uh, better all right guys so I'm not going to be boring you to you know be going through what I just showed as an example at this point I'm probably going to just speed the video up so that we you know can make this video not so drawn out all right guys here I go all right guys so um i'm just coming back just to show you what we have done so far so let me collapse that layer and let me take the eye off before and after you can see how much change i've made in the photo all right so i'm going to continue and i'll stop once i get to a point where i'm happy with the photo all right All right, guys, so I think we have gotten to a really good place um, with this photo. Uh, let's let's do a, a before and after before and after, you know, drastic uh, improvement in the photo. Um, there's definitely some areas over here that I really want to um, that I want to fix, like this area right here, this little indentation right here. I definitely want to fix that. Um, uh but for the most part the photo is coming to a good place where you know i'm 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 really happy um so this now is where i would use the uh <clears throat> um i would start to kind of you know rubbing these pieces right here but what i would use is the mixer brush all right and what the mixer brush does is kind of tone and softens certain areas in the skin that it looks a little bit more even but the, the 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 one thing you have to try to do with the mixer brush is try not to um cross from one ear to the next in other words let's say this highlight area right here moving from here to over here you know you're going to kind of mess up the 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 natural texture of the skin so to speak so it's it is something that you try to use with caution all right so what i'll normally do is i will press command j on the keyboard just to duplicate the layer and then i'll hold down my option key and just you know so that i'm just making a copy just in case i do make a, a mistake i'll do the same with the, with the top layer i'll just put this as normal and this way if i do make a mistake i can always come back and make another copy and you know don't have to be doing all over again all right guys so i'm going to be using the mixer brush right here first thing you try to do is you clean the brush so that you know anything that i've done from other photos from before is not left over and literally all i'm doing right now is just i will just paint uh you know make the brush a certain size and i'm just slowly brushing in and like i said i am trying not to go like over the skin just keep the the tones in one particular area and i'm going very slowly all right very 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 slowly From one ear to the next, I'll lower the size. And that's pretty much it, guys. Just keeping it very. But it's looking really nice now guys let me zoom out so you could see 
So let's look what I've done. You can see the difference right there. I've just made a transition from the lights and darks a little bit more smooth and not so harsh. And this is where you kind of like, you know, don't zoom all the way in. Zoom out so you can, you know, see it a little bit better. Because you're going to be posting this on like maybe an Instagram or whatever. So it's good to just kind of zoom out just to see what it looks like. And it looks looking pretty good. You know, I'm just toned on this bright hair right here. And that's looking really nice, guys. Let me undo that. Good. Same thing for here. Let's increase that. So it makes the, the, the chest air pop just a little bit more. You know, that looks good. So I can do the same thing with the and. You can kind of get away with the hand and the reason why I'm saying you can get away with it is the, the hand is a little bit soft because it's out of focus because the focus is really on the eyes. And I think the aperture that I used was like 1.4 on the lens. So, you know, um, I normally try to use those settings for especially like beauty photos and stuff. So, yeah. All right. So it's looking pretty good, guys. Let me go before and after before and after and that's looking really nice so let's look at the overall before and after now before and after let me zoom out so you can you guys can see so the before and after before and after you guys can let me know what you guys think and let's say i feel i've gone a little bit over i can always just press the v key and load up the the opacity you know to like a 70 percent if i feel i've gone too much uh, which i think i probably did so i kind of toned it down and it looks really nice you know looking really really nice <clears throat> all right so like i said i'm going to be um removing some of these uh bumps and maybe a little bit of the hair so this is where i go to my top layer now right here um so I'm going to be using, I, I normally go between the healing, stamp, uh, healing brush tool and also the clone stamp tool. But whenever you're doing on this layer here, which is the top layer, always change your setting to current layer. Same thing for this one, current layer. Because if you don't, let me show you what would happen. Let's say I do all layers and i'm i'm thinking of sampling right here if i sample and do that you'll see what happens all right so you don't want that so let's go to current layer and we do the same thing that we just did a while ago and voila just like that you know so like i said guys whenever you're sampling just try to sample an area that you think is a good spot and to remove the air that you would like to heal. All right. And that's pretty much what I'm doing here. This little spot right here. Let's do that. That's good. Like I said, her freckles are you know i'm going to be keeping i that's her natural skin i don't want to take away that at all um okay let me zoom out like i said sometimes zooming in too close can you know uh Make you not see the whole picture, so to speak. You know, so it's good to zoom or just to look at it from a distance. And and pretty much how people, other, others are going to be viewing it as well online if you should put, be posting this picture online. All right. So like I said, I'm going to be removing the hair from here. All right. And let's do that right now. 
and you can see how nicely it's you know being removed and any little area that you want to touch up right here just touch it up i'm not digging this dark spot right here but i'll come back to that i'm not going to remove in everything i just want to show you i'm going to switch to the the, the clone stamp and i'm just removing that's looking good For me, I use both tools and the reason why is that sometimes the clone stamp tool works a lot better than the healing in some areas. You know, and this is the reason why I switch between both and you see, boom, I took care of that dark, dark area right there that I had issue with before. The clone stamp tool was having a little bit of issue with it. And it's looking pretty nice right now. All right, guys, I'm not going to bore you. So I'm just let me speed this part of the video up and I'll come back to you guys when I'm when I'm finished. All right, let's go. All right. So I've taken care of majority of the ears. So let's look at the before and after before and after. And that's looking pretty good. Let's look at the overall before and after. Before, after, before, after. That's looking really nice. All right. So now there are a few ears that I really want to if you notice this little area right here is different from here it's a little bit red so i'm going to just kind of brush it in and i'm going to press the b on the keyboard let me just make it a little bit smaller and brush in this area right here So to just kind of like get rid of that redness. Oh, I'm still using the mixer brush. That's one thing you should try to keep in mind, guys. Um, to undo that. So let me go back now and sample. And that's much better now. So you can see that it's removing a lot of that red. Which is what we want. I will want to, as much as I possibly can, even out the skin tone. As much as possible. You can see that little red under her nose right there. And it could be because we, when we were doing the shoot, we actually were in the cold. So that's, you know, that's sometimes a possibility for why. I know around her nose areas would be uh, a little bit red, you know, and that's fine. <clears throat> that looks and looks a lot better. Before, after, before, after. That looks really nice, guys. Pretty good. All right. So now I'm going to be doing a little bit of dodging and burning. So I'm going to group this layer right here. I'm going to create my first dodge right about there. I'm going to fill the mask with black. All right, and the same principle, but let me create a burn layer. So D for dodge, right? Create another one. This is gonna be my burn. Right about there is good. B for burn. And let me fill this with black. There we go. All right. So now let me group this and I'm going to just say dodge and burn. 
for short. All right. And before I normally go ahead and do that, what I normally do is I create a help layer. All right. So I create a black and white. And then I would use this just so I can see the air that I want to work on a little bit better. All right. And let us group it. Again, I'm going to call it help. All right. And we shall begin. So I'm going to go to my dodge layer, making sure we're on the brush. Don't make that mistake again. 1% flow. And we just slowly just paint with white. And that's it. And we'll just brush. Just toning down the dark areas in our eyes right here. All right, and then if we should go, you can see that we have actually done something so far based on what we just did. If we remove the help layer as well, you'll see the slightly brighten that area right there. All right, and let's continue. looking really good now okay all right let's go down to her chest area All right, guys so i think we've gotten to a really nice place with this photo um uh let's look at our before and after with the dodging and burning before very subtle but very significant let's look at the overall before and after i think we're looking pretty good guys uh there's just a few areas on the arm that i want to just brighten just a tad Just to kind of even the shadows just a bit. I think that looks, looks a lot better. That's pretty good. And this shadow right here on our side of her face, I'm going to deal with that. I'm going to collapse this. And I'm going to merge uh, visible. And then I'm going to run another frequency separation, but I won't be doing the manual way because I showed you guys already. I have an action over here that I use. Uh, let's see. All right, cool. That looks good. Do the same thing as I did before. So I'll zoom in, use a brush. I just don't like how dark it is. So I'm going to, just going to just very lightly just tone it down. I think that looks a lot better. Oops. 
went a little bit overboard there yeah I think that looks a little better the gradation I'm referring to uh, let's check that and see before and after yeah that definitely looks a lot better um, let's sample a little bit of this dark air right here and just oops not liking that let's take it off yeah that doesn't look good too it was a little bit too dark yeah, let's try that right here good yeah that's better that's much better now so if we look at it before and after that's definitely a lot better all right so now let's see if there's anything else that we need to fix i think that looks pretty good um i'm gonna merge this again i'm gonna do another dodging and burning now so i have these here so dodge burn all right let's turn on the back of our help layer and all i'm going to be doing now guys is just uh just burning some of the highlights on the edges it's it's almost like just kind of contouring the face a little bit more very slowly doing that you know toning it down that's very very slowly guys very slowly like i said i'm not going to be going too crazy because this is just for youtube so just so that you know we don't have a too much of a lengthy video so i'm just trying to keep it as simple as possible let's take our help layer off let me group these call it d and b let's see all right that looks pretty good let's tone down just a little bit more okay so we're not going too crazy that looks pretty good very nice good let me zoom out just a tad i'm just going to tone this down just a little bit burn this down a little bit because the thing is you don't want the attention to be on the arm so you're just toning it down just ever so lightly so the attention is really about the face all right just a little bit in this area here just a little good it's a little bit here good chest area here just kind of toning it down the neck just a little bit like i said the attention should be the face good let's go to our dodge a little bit of these shadows right here just kind of toning it down try to make it a little bit more even i think that looks pretty good so let's zoom out let's look at it now before after let's zoom in a little bit more before after i think we have done quite well on this photo all right so now what we want to do now are the eyes all right so i have this whitening action that i'd normally use so put it above <clears throat> i 
and if you guys will probably like it i can you know give it to you guys so just let me know all right so i'm going to increase my brush size my my flow sorry to 100 and i'm just going to paint over the eyes and don't worry about the spill guys we can always fix that later just white in the eyes a little bit more that's looking pretty good flip the brush and let's paint away oops let's kind of paint away the areas that we kind of went a little bit over on just fine it's fine here it's good same over here And of course, that's a that's way too you know white. So I'll probably put it about fifty percent, maybe even forty. Let's look at the before and after. Yeah, very subtle. All right. And then what we're gonna do now is I just want to brighten the eyes here a little bit. I'm just gonna increase my brightness right here. Fill it to black zoom in take my brush and all i'm going to be doing now is just paint in flip it make sure you paint with white and you just paint in right under here and if we probably use a, a blend mode let's say screen and just kind of paint in right there Kind of do the same over here because the light is reflecting on the eyes right here so this normally is a little bit of highlight right there all right and that's definitely too bright so let's take it down let's run a little bit of blur on here goes gaussian blur it doesn't look so the lines don't look so good. Perfect. All right. And let's just tap a little bit over here, a little bit over there. That's good. Let's see before, after. We're going to fix it. Let's look a little bit better. All right. Definitely taking it down. It's a little bit too bright for me. A little bit more. Perfect. I think that's a lot better. And then we're going to do the opposite now. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. And then I'm going to just bring those highlights all the way down. Fill that with black. And then we'll zoom into the eye. I'm just going to paint over the areas that I want that rich black to be and the same over here good and then we'll just kind of paint over the edges <coughs> excuse me guys <coughs> excuse me just kind of paint over the edges, just like that. Like I said, I'm not going too crazy with the interest of time. I'm going to lower the opacity to about 50, make it 40. I'm going to blur that a little. Let's look at it. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Still going to lower it a little bit more. We could actually go multiply. And then lower it a little bit more. Let's just group these and call it eyes. And if we look at the before and after. Very subtle. But very significant. It just kind of had a little bit of, you know, oomph to the eye. I think I'm going to take up the 
brightness just a little bit more. Let's see. Yeah. Let's look at that now. Let's zoom out and look at it before and after. I think that's looking really good, guys. <clears throat> and like I said, there are times when I use um, softwares, but let me go. I'm going to just bring, just kind of give this a little bit. It's a little bit oversaturated. Let me go luminance. So let's look at the before and after. Just kind of make it a little bit, not so flat, but kind of, Give it a little bit of contrast before and after. So what I could do now is I can just paint to the areas that I want it on. Just make this 100. And let's just paint it in. Let's <clears throat> paint it in to where I want it. I think that looks pretty good. Let's check our mask. So we can just paint in. All right, that looks pretty good. That's looking pretty good, guys. Let's look at the before and after, before and after. <coughs> All right, so now what I'll probably do, I'll merge a layer once more. And then what I'll go to image adjustment, go to brightness, take down the contrast quite a bit. Because I'm what I'm doing a sharpening on the image now. Go to other, I pass. And let's kind of bring it up to a start seeing the lines appear on the screen. Let's go look at the eyes right there. Because I don't want to see too much halo. I think that's look pretty good. I'm going to change that to linear. As you can see, it's a little bit overly sharpened. And I really want it on specific areas. So. I'm just going to paint in what I want. So the eyes definitely needs it. I think that's a little bit too much. So I'm going to take this down to about maybe 50% here, right there. Definitely doing the lips. And this other eye over here. Let me zoom out just a little bit. <clears throat> we definitely can do some on the hair as well. All right. I think that looks pretty good if you ask me. Before after before after that looks really nice guys perfect <clears throat> i think one of the things i would probably do as well hold on pretty good <clears throat> Let me merge this layer once more. I do like this little sink in the hair right here. So I'm going to fix that with liquify. <clears throat> so what I'll probably do is I don't want it to affect this area here. All right. So I'm just increase my brush size and just kind of take it up. Just let it not look so I 
I just didn't like how that air was just synced in. And I think that looks a lot better than before, before, after. It kind of does give the, the, the hair a little bit more rounded. <coughs> uh, I think I want to make the hair a little bit larger. You know, or should I say full? Should I just kind of, it's a little bit, you don't have to go too crazy. Just give it a little bit. So make the hair look a little bit fuller. That looks good, I think. Let's look at the before, after. That looks really nice. <coughs> um, I can also um, bring out some of the highlights in the hair. So let's do that right now. Let's go brush. And I'm just going to run the brush. Oh, let's make it white. Flip that. And let's just paint over this area right here. It looks weird right now, but take your time with me, guys. Look at this right here. And just make it a little bit softer. Let me see what screen looks like. Yeah, that looks good. Let me see soft light. Yeah, let's go back. So what I'm basically doing, or what I just did a while ago is, <clears throat> when you go to the, the blend if, you're taking away the highlights from the dark areas of the hair and just leaving it to just the highlights or rather the midtones. So now when I paint over, it shouldn't be affecting the, the, the blacks as much. All I'm doing is just give the hair a little bit of kicker. Just to let it stand out a little bit more. If I look at before and after. It's a little bit much for me, so I'll take it down to about 70%. Maybe even 60%. And look at, look at before and after before and after and i think that looks really, really nice so let's look at the overall before and after before after before after i think that makes the picture looks a little bit more so the last thing i'll do now is i'll run this plugin that i have just to kind of touch the skin up just a little bit as you can see, it literally overly did, which I don't want. That's fine. But the one thing we can do now, when we go back into the picture now, we just lower the opacity. I'll make it 30%. <clears throat> so it's a very subtle adjustment that I did. And I think that looks pretty good, guys. Pretty good. Let's take this up to about 50. Because I really love her freckles. That's pretty nice, guys. So let's look at the before. After. Before. After. All right, guys. I think that will do it for now. If you guys have come this far, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for the support. And keep on, you know, supporting the channel. I'll try to be more consistent with, you know, uploading more videos on the channel. And for now, guys, take care. Be safe. Peace.